morning and welcome to MNF Farmette. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos on how to get your shovels in the ground and uh, grow your own food in your backyard. Everything that you see here is all done on less than half an acre on a little plot of land uh, about two and a half acres outside of Gainesville, Florida. Today we're going to just take a quick tour. All of this started back in about 2004. I lost my last real job and I was concerned about uh, what we were going to do for uh, for money and for food and, and all of those things and uh, so I decided to start garden. Everything started with a two foot by four foot herb garden. I thought well you know everybody can grow herbs no problem. The herb garden has since gone to eight foot by ten foot and now it supports all of the rest of the seasonings for the rest of the things that I grow and produce. This is the view of the farmette off my back porch. You can hear the chickens in the background and that's a whole separate story. All of my gardens have names and the one I'm showing you now is called Food and Roses. My husband likes to give me rose plants instead of This is Big Veg. It started off with just a cucumber patch and now we've got it to almost 16 feet by 50 feet of uh, vegetable production. Through the gate to the chicken yard. Let's go. Here comes Margo. She likes to visit with the chickens too and eat chicka poop. I honestly believe that chickens are a very important part of the homestead project. If you um, live in town frequently you can have up to two chickens, no roosters of course, and I started out uh, very very small. Let me show you the first coop. I bought this coop online and um, I kept two hens in it. Not for long though because frankly two chickens just wasn't enough. Over the years I added um, chickens each season and uh, probably the second year my entire flock was taken away by uh, raccoons and opossums and a couple feral cats. Quite devastating but I really didn't want to give up. I trapped them and got rid of them. This is my current chicken house. It really is just an aero metal shed for $300 and uh, I painted it because quite frankly things just got to look cute. Since 2008 I've been trying to do one project a year that would earn the farm at just enough money to keep it going. Of course you know you never get to pay yourself when you do this kind of work and this year's project is... This year's money making project is to grow out baby chicks. A lot of folks don't have the, the space or the equipment to take chicks from day old chicks all the way up to layer size. So what I'm doing is I got, I got a series, of, a set of uh, ornamental layers from McMurray Hatchery, all different kinds, and uh, folks can come out and pick which chick they like, and uh, it turns into a bit of uh, an expense layoff for the farm. Look at those chicks. Aren't they cute? Would you want one? The existing hens are very interested in the baby chicks. I have reduced the size of my flock to make room for some of these new ornamental layers. Um, at the, just previous to this, I had about oh, 25 layers, and I'm down to 12 now. And um, that black one there is going to go in the pot here soon. Not laying eggs anymore. I love my chickens. They have names, but you can't be sentimental. 